All right, Deirdre. Yeah, getting kids involved and getting kids involved in healthy eating habits. That's what we're talking about this morning. Joining us is Jennifer Lombardi, MFT Director of Admissions at Summit Eating Disorders and Outreach Program. Thanks so much for being with us this morning. Thanks for Let's having Let's talk about the trends that we're seeing now. Is it pretty much the same thing? We're in our summer months. Uh, eating disorders tend to spike a little bit during the summer as kids get a little bit more self-conscious maybe about their bodies. Absolutely. There was an interesting article that appeared in Psychology Today back in April, and they were talking about this. And part of it certainly is sort of revolving around that diet mentality that tends to increase around this time of year. But also there are a lot of changes and transitions for young boys and girls around this time. School is ending, some might be going away to college, and so the pressure of change, we know now through research, tends to be have a huge impact for people with eating disorders. They mentioned kids going away to college, but are we starting to see that eating disorders are developing in children at younger and younger ages? Absolutely. I mean, I've been doing admissions work for almost 10 years, and I I can tell you during that time, I am assessing children younger and younger, as young as seven and eight years old, coming in with anorexia, bulimia, binge eating disorder. So the key is to talk to kids about healthy eating habits. Correct, correct. And I think sometimes we tend to go overboard as a culture. We put too much pressure on kids. Um, I know I see this a lot. Parents who are very well, well intended um, put a lot of pressure on kids to eat healthy and to avoid junk food. But I think in our culture, we do a huge disservice because we tend to sort of vilify certain certain foods is good or bad, and we know for a fact that that certainly contributes to at least disordered eating, if not a full-blown eating disorder. To me, it's kind of like a fine line. I mean, you, you don't want to place so much emphasis on, you know, don't eat that, don't eat that, um, while trying to encourage healthy habits as well, but then we can't ignore the fact that childhood obesity is right. a problem. Right, but what's interesting is, and I know there's been a lot of attention drawn to this with Michelle Obama's campaign right. on childhood obesity, mm -hmm. Part of the research, though, is showing that regardless of whether it's obesity, anorexia, or bulimia, the underlying factors tend to be very much the same, and that is being diet-focused, having a negative self-image or body image, and having that portrayed in the family. So it's very, very important that parents sort of treat all foods equally and eat, really treat, truly mm -hmm. teach kids how to eat in moderation. Anorexia, bulimia, we hear that these are problems in a lot of young girls, right. but manorexia, yes. that's a term that we don't often hear about. Right, and I do think, I mean, there's, it's an estimated one million boys and men in the United States who struggle, and certainly we, we have had several patients who are males, um, typically adolescent boys who are I've struggling. Seen, I've seen this a lot in summer months, too, because with sports, they try to make certain weight classes. Absolutely, and so I think, t generally speaking, most of the time when we're talking about men who struggle, certainly they can struggle with anorexia, oftentimes there is a degree of exercise compulsion that goes hand in hand with that. And if you look in our culture, if a woman goes to the gym multiple hours mm -hmm. every day, you know, seven days a week, we sort of, you know, our eyebrows raise. But if a man does that, we generally tend to support mm -hmm. that and encourage right. that. So it's definitely a mixed message. All right. Jennifer Lombardi with the Summit Eating Disorders and Outreach Program. Thanks so much for being with thanks us this morning. Me. All right, Deirdre, back to you. All right. Thanks.